Mathematics has been around for a really long time and people have studied math for hundreds of years. But in this video, we're not going to talk about mathematics. We're going to talk about a field that is newer than mathematics and that field is computer science. And these books are probably the most famous books ever written on computer science. And they're called The Art of Computer Programming. So it's a series of books and it is written by what some people consider to be the father of computer science, the legendary Donald Knuth. So I've got three editions here and we're just gonna go through these briefly and I'm just gonna show you these books. Um, they're pretty easy to get, these books. They're kind of expensive. It just depends on what edition you get and what you want. And I will do my best to leave links in the description to all of these books. If you're a computer science major or if you're thinking about going into computer science or if you're just a book lover like I am, these books are probably worth owning. Um, really cool. I'll also leave a link to Donald Knuth's personal website. He has this really cool website. And if you find mistakes, like he pays you, um, he's just a really cool person. The Art of Computer Programming, Volume 1. This is the second edition, Fundamental Algorithms by Knuth. It's a big, thick book. I'm just going to open it up and give it a whiff here. Just, ah, oh, yeah, awesome. So let's take a look at the inside of this book. Donald E. Knuth, Stanford University. That's a really, really good school. And I believe he's a professor emeritus. I believe I said that correctly at Stanford. So this is the second edition. Let's open it up and look at this awesome book. So copyright 1973 and then 1968. So that must be the first edition in 68. And this one is from 73. So the first sentence here of the preface really tells you how Newth thinks about computer science. And I think it's a really beautiful way to do it. The process of preparing programs for a digital computer is especially attractive, not only because it can be economically and scientifically rewarding, but also because it can be an aesthetic experience much like composing poetry or music. So he relates, you know, programming to kind of like an art. Reminds me of uh, a gentleman, which I don't know if you know who he is. His name is Richard Stallman. He is another legend in the world of computer science. And yeah, I mean, a lot of people view it that way, which I think is really cool. So Mr. Newth gives a procedure for reading this set of books and he basically gives you this really interesting chart here and you can follow it and it gives you advice on how to read it. So not only has he written the book, he tells you how to read it, which I think is pretty fun uh, if you choose to follow his advice. This book is designed for self-study as well as for use in courses in college. It says here, the exercises in this set of books have been designed for self-study as well as classroom study. So you could in theory use this for self-study. One of the great things about this book is that it has answers to almost all of the exercises, which is really cool. I, I think it's really unusual for most textbooks to have answers to all of the exercises. Um, for various reasons, authors choose to omit answers. And I feel like Newth has provided all the answers he could. So I think that's really awesome. So here's the contents. And I think it's really cool. He starts with some math. So this being a math channel, you might recognize some of these things, mathematical induction, numbers, powers, and logarithms, sums and products. By the way, Newth has a really fantastic math book. It's called Concrete Mathematics, which is also excellent. Mix, we're gonna talk about mix in a little bit. It's really interesting. Information structures, so linear lists, doubly linked lists. These are things you might recognize if you took a course in computer science, for example, a introductory course in computer science would cover some of these things. Here he talks about mix, which I think is really interesting that he's done this. So in many places throughout this book, we will have occasion to refer to a computer's machine language. The machine we use is a mythical computer called mix. Mix is very much like nearly every computer now in existence, except that it is perhaps nicer. The language of mix has been designed to be powerful enough to allow brief programs to be written for most algorithms, yet simple enough so that its operations are easily learned. So it's really cool that he does this, I think. It's pretty, it's pretty epic for a book to do that. Here's a quick look at some of the exercises in the section on sums and products. This gives you an idea of the kind of math that you'll find, at least in this section, in this book. All kinds of sums, really cool stuff there. The second volume in the art of computer programming is called Semi-Numerical Algorithms. And again, this is the second edition. 
And again, it's by Newth. Let's take a quick look inside this book. So these are the contents and you notice it starts with chapter three. That's because the first book has chapters one and two. So it starts with random numbers. And then it does arithmetic, talks about floating point arithmetic, multiple precision arithmetic, rational arithmetic, polynomial arithmetic, and then of course answers to the exercises, which is really useful if you're using this book for self-study. There is a lot of math in this book. Here he talks about the analysis of Euclid's algorithm. He defines some notation here for a continued fraction. And let me just turn the page to show you that even though this is a computer science book, there is a lot of mathematics here and you're going to learn a lot if you choose to study computer science, which is pretty cool. Volume three of the art of computer programming is sorting and searching. And let's take a look at the inside of this book. My copy is a little bit sketchy because I feel like the quality of the pages is a little bit different. It's not like the other ones I have. And so I kind of think this might be um, like an illegal copy of the book in the sense that um, this was printed perhaps with, without the publisher's permission because the page quality does not seem very good. Also, there's like this weird uh, symbol here. I don't know what language that is. So I kind of feel like compared to the other volumes, um, this one might not be printed where it says it's printed, which I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. In any case, let's take a look at the contents. So this one starts with chapter five, which is on sorting. So again, if you've taken some computer science classes, you might have seen some of these things. And then searching, which is again, something you would study if you took uh, computer science classes in college. And again, it has answers to all of the exercises. Yeah, this one definitely feels very different from my other volumes. Here you can see some more of the mathematics. Here he talks about asymptotic methods. The analysis of exchange sorting algorithms leads to some particularly instructive mathematical problems which enable us to learn more about how to find the asymptotic behavior of functions. For example, we came across this function here in our analysis of the bubble sort. What is its asymptotic value? And they go through here and you can see some more of the math here. So there is a lot of mathematics in these books. These books are not uh, for the faint of heart. So it takes a lot of effort and time to you know, get through these books. The Art of Computer Programming. So these are legendary books written by Donald Newth, and I'm pretty sure he is still working on more of these. I'm pretty positive volume four is out. I don't own it, uh, and he's working on other volumes as well, I think. But I'll leave a link to all of these books if I can find them, I'm pretty sure I can. And I'll also leave a link to um, Newth's website in case you wanna check him out. He's got some really interesting things on his website. Um, it's just really, really cool. For some reason, and this is gonna sound really weird, for some reason, Donald Newth reminds me of Sean Connery. I, I don't know why, but whenever I see Donald Newth's picture on the internet, I think of like Sean Connery. Uh, it's just really weird. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, take care.